Okay, if you refer to my recent uh, house plant tour video, you will notice this uh, Apoprinum Cebu Blue, Apoprinum Pinatum Cebu Blue that is sitting uh, on uh, near to this sink here, uh, next to the kitchen window. And uh, I think it has overstayed its uh, welcome because it is uh, growing right into the sink, uh, happily putting out a lot of arrow roots. And look at this one, I think it's even uh, propagating itself in uh, the water. So I really need to uh, cut it up and uh, propagate this. The colors of the leaf of the Cebu Blue is uh, bluish, uh, silvery in certain lighting. This is how long the two vines have grown. Uh, when I first got it, uh, they were pretty short. I think each had about one or two leaves. Well, it looks like I have a lot of plant material to work with. And I'm really glad that uh, every node has its own uh, area root. So that's really uh, helpful. So what I'll do is I'll get um, one cutting will be will have one leaf with one arrow root, and it seems like I probably will have about more than ten uh, cuttings. All right, let's cut up this uh, baby blue. I uh, will start with the shorter vine first. This is the newest leaf. It's still really soft. Okay, and this is the second one. So this is too long, it doesn't need all this, so I'm going to just uh, snip it off. Okay, let's see how many cuttings we managed to get out of this. 13, 14. So we have uh, a total of 14 cuttings. That's a pretty good harvest. Okay, the plan for this uh, rooted cuttings is to have half of them uh, to be in one pot to allow it to grow into a large uh, pot of trailing plant. And the second batch of cuttings, I would want to uh, pot them up together with a moss pole immediately so that hopefully it can grow up uh, with uh, very big uh, fenestrated leaves as you will see in a mature plant. Uh, four cuttings here with very good roots already so i'm thinking of uh, just potting them up immediately into a uh, potting medium okay this is a box of uh, propagation mix which i call dirty pearl light <laughs> because it's actually mixed with uh, sphagnum moss uh, cocoa chips and i think probably some uh, cocoa peat as well somewhere um, i was propagating uh, the Monstera Adansonia with this. So I'm going to recycle this. Okay, I'm going to take this four. Okay, I've added some more perlite because I don't think it's enough. So I'm just going to mix it around. I'm going to give it some water. Uh, just a little bit. Uh, don't drown it. Okay, for the next batch of cuttings, um, I think I have about five here. They have uh, very minimal uh, area roots. So I'm just going to propagate this uh, in water, which I think should do well. So I have this uh, container of water with some um, lacquer, which basically is just to help it <coughs> to anchor the cuttings. So this is in water propagation. The last batch of five cuttings, um, they have pretty good roots, so I'm thinking of actually potting them directly into a potting medium. But I have this uh, packet of uh, vermiculite that is um, sitting in my cupboard. I've not been using this. So I'm thinking of uh, actually propagating these cuttings uh, in this. Do you think it'll work? Uh, so let's experiment. Okay, I have this plastic container here. I'm not sure whether it's too small, but um, yeah, I think it should work. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's put in the cuttings. 
So from what I understand, the vermiculite can absorb and retains a lot of moisture. So just like the pearlite mixture, I'm going to keep this moist, uh, but nothing too crazy. What a waste of all this uh, good plant material, but I don't think this uh, excess uh, cuttings of patio is going to do anything. So this is the parent plant after a haircut. Um, cuttings in water, cuttings in this uh, perlite mixture, and lastly, cuttings in this uh, vermiculite. Hey guys, today is the 22nd of March, uh, so it's almost two weeks uh, from propagation. Uh, just want to have a quick update. Uh, let's start off with the original parent plant. As I've expected, the nodes where the cuts uh, were made, um, there are new growth uh, sprouting up from the immediate nodes. So these are the two vines which I've cut. Uh, as you can see, there is a uh, new growth uh, coming out here and uh, another one on the other vine and there's a very slight bump here which... so this is what happens when you uh, cut the vines uh, it will push out all this uh, new growth let's take a look at the cutting that is uh, in vermiculite um, actually i was pretty worried about this uh, because i've not propagated in this medium before um, because the medium is pretty dense and compacted so i'm worried that the you know the plant the cutting may uh, rot in this um, but surprisingly it is doing pretty well uh, i've kept this moist and as you can see there is a new growth here and let's see check out if there's any roots oh yeah there's okay there's root roots yeah okay a lot of roots actually and all these roots have come out within the last two weeks so actually it's uh, enjoying itself <laughs> in this uh, vermiculite so i would say that this vermiculite is uh, actually pretty good okay the next cutting is uh, cuttings are uh, in this uh, mixture of perlite and uh, moss with some cocoa chips so let's uh, see how it's doing i'm not going to remove it yet i do not want to disturb them just give it a tap it seems to be yeah pretty uh stable let's take a look if there's uh, any roots oh, i can see one root here <laughs> so at least i know it's uh rooting so I'll just leave this be, give it some more time. Okay, lastly, let's look at the cuttings that are in this uh, water propagation. I think I have about three or four cuttings here. Oh, nice. Look at all these roots. So I'll say water propagation uh, is, seems to be the fastest uh, by far. Yeah, and there's some new growth as well. Growth points. And I think it has given me a, a new leaf uh, during, its, during uh, this propagation process. So today is the 7th of May. So it has been uh, about one and a half months since my last update. Let's take a look at the original plant. And uh, I must say it has uh, grown quite a fair bit. Uh, remember the two cut points? This uh, is one of them. And there was a new growth that came out from the node before this, that very small growth. And now it has grown to this uh, very long vine with uh, its own aerial roots. And uh, this is the other one. It was such a small growth then and now it's uh, a full vine by itself. Yeah, look at the leaves. Big and nice. And I can see there's another growth point that is uh, coming out. So that's really nice. See another potential growth point here. And check out all the roots. Okay, the next one are cuttings that are in water. Uh, first, let me remove this <laughs> silver sword uh, cutting. It's philodendron silver sword. Well, look at the roots. So I think they are ready to be potted up. 
So the one in water is doing really well. The root ball is really uh, fantastic. And there are some, uh, of course, new growth uh, on these cuttings as well. Look at these new leaves, these growth points. And uh, all these um, yeah, smaller leaves are the newer ones. Like this. And some of the vines are starting to have uh, arrow roots. Okay, the next set of uh, cuttings are in this perlite mixture. There should be some roots. Let's take a look. Yep. Okay, let's remove them from this uh, mixture. Whoa, the roots is pretty uh, thick. Okay, let's loosen up the perlite. Whoa, look at the roots on the, these cuttings. This is definitely very thick and uh, long, this particular one. Compared to those uh, in water, uh, the roots are definitely more robust, thicker. Yeah, you can see the difference between this and those uh, water cuttings. I mean, those in water propagation. Get okay, some new growth points uh, as well. This one here. Yeah, so it's uh, doing really well. Yeah, this uh, particular one, super long. Okay, the last one I'm going to take a look is uh, these cuttings in uh, vermiculite. And uh, this is the one that surprises me. Look at all the roots that are growing wild in this uh, medium. Yeah, and there's this green root here as well. So they're rooting super fast in this uh, potting medium. Look at this. So I'm going to remove this later and pot all the cuttings up in a single pot. Okay, I'm just going to uh, repot all the cuttings and uh, this is the uh, potting mix I'm going to use, this uh, very loose aeroid mix. But I'm going to recycle this um, perlite mixture as well. I uh, don't want to let it go to waste. So I'm just going to use a mixture of this uh, as well as uh, some uh, new potting medium. And I'm going to use this old uh, plastic nursery pot. It's also recycled. Uh, preferably, I would like to use a terracotta pot, but I don't have any at the moment. So uh, this will do. Let's uh, remove these cuttings uh, from the vermiculite. Well, actually, I think I can mix this uh, vermiculite into the potting... Uh, mix as well look at the roots okay let's uh, remove this uh, parent plant and uh, in fact i'm going to recycle this uh, potting mix as well so let's uh, mix them all together <laughs> yeah let's not waste them We're well, gonna be careful to remove these uh, roots here that are already picking up from the drainage holes. Right. Right, let's look at the roots of the original plant. Whoa. Really thick and uh, healthy. Well, actually, this plant is uh, made out of uh, two cuttings. As I can see, just going to mix this up. Okay, so this is my mesh mesh of uh, potting medium from uh, three different types of uh, mixers, and I'm just going to add a little bit, a tiny bit of this uh, new uh, aeroid mixture into that. Okay, I'm just going to place this mesh uh, at the bottom of the pot to prevent anything from coming out from the drainage holes. Just going to mix a little bit of the new potting mix. Okay, as usual, I'm just going to fill up a quarter of the pot. Well, I hope this uh, pot is big enough. Okay, this is the main uh, plant. My original plan was to uh, give some cuttings a pole when I pot them up. 
But I think I will just uh, yeah, just pot them up together first and let it grow again. Well, I think this pot is not big enough. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to add in these cuttings uh, that were sitting in the um, perlite mixture. Just going to add this in. Okay, I guess I have to uh, repot them into two separate pots because this pot is way too small and I still have the cuttings in uh, water propagation and those in uh, vermiculite. Let me settle this pot first. Okay, so I've reported all these cuttings into uh, one pot. I still have some uh, cuttings from the water propagation and uh, of course some cuttings from this vermiculite uh, one. So I don't have enough space for the original pot. So I'm going to recycle this and uh, yeah, I'm going to plant this in here. Pot number two, looking really large uh, with all these cuttings. This is going to be my final update on these cuttings. So thank you for watching this propagation episode. I hope uh, you have enjoyed this. And if you do like contents like that, uh, do consider subscribing to my channel. I'll see you again in my next video. Meanwhile, take care, stay safe, and uh, remember to show your plants some love.